Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about getting a job and having a job with social anxiety. I don't have anything planned for this video, like I haven't written anything out, which I normally do, so I apologize if this video is kind of all over the place. So around like May of last year, I realized I was 19 and I had never had a job and I needed money and so I was like, you know what, like why not try and get one, like I just need to like do it. And the main thing that I was really scared about was the interview. Obviously I was scared about the job, but the main part was the interview. So I went online and like applied for a bunch of things, not really expecting anything from it, but then I got a couple of like emails and calls about having like getting an interview so one place that i applied at i'm not going to say the name of it i've said it in other videos but i just don't want to like relate the name in this video it would it's pretty much like walmart but like walmart and costco so they sell like food in like bulk and also like home decor and stuff like mainly food but they also sell like home decor and like clothes and stuff like that i applied as a cashier there a couple days later my phone was ringing and it was from just like a random number and i was like oh boy i better answer it so i did and it was this store like asking for an interview i was like yeah okay and the interview was at nine in the morning like it was like two days later so i was really glad that it was not like a week later because then i would have been like so stressed about it that night i was so so nervous and i was going and watching a whole bunch of videos of like job interview tips and stuff and like all these like common job interview questions and like preparing my answer for them i was so stressed and i got my mom to drive me because at the time i didn't have a car and the whole way there i was just like so stressed but i was kind of like convincing myself that i didn't want to get the job but if i didn't I wouldn't be disappointed also i had a friend that had worked at that store for a couple of years so I messaged him on Facebook and just like asked him if it was a good place to work and stuff and he said it was and I told him who my interview was with and he said that that was one of the nicest managers there and she seemed really nice on the phone so that helped also I'm glad it wasn't a male because men really intimidate me for some reason I don't know why I went to the front desk and I was like so scared and I was like um I have an interview where like what do I do and he like told me that he's like you know what he says to me he's like oh there's been a lot of you today and I was like awesome so there's been a lot of us I probably won't get it and then I saw her and like as soon as I like she said hi I was like a lot relaxed because she was so nice I sat down I was like so scared and we went into this like big room and for some reason the fact that it was a big room it made it a lot more scary and it was the weirdest thing she like didn't ask me like any questions she basically just called me in to like give me the job oh yeah I did put on my resume that I was in the um, queer straight alliance at school and so I think that's what got me the interview because she asked me what that was and what we did, so I just kind of explained to her what we did in that, and um, she was seemed like pretty impressed with that. And then she just was like, okay, I need to do a criminal record check. I went out and I was like totally relieved because it went like way better. Like she didn't ask me a single interview question. Anyway, she finally called me and was like, are you still interested? And I was like, well, yeah. So I forgot to mention, this is like a huge part of this video. Um, what I did when I was going into the interview is I kind of do this thing in situations where I'm really anxious, like socially anxious, is I just kind of pretend that I'm somebody else and I'm not me. And cause if I'm like, oh, I'm Monica, like I can't talk to people without crying. Um, I just kind of do like a Hannah Montana and like be like, no, I'm this girl that's confident. I just kind of like pretend that I'm someone else and it really helps. So I'm going to be talking about that later on um, because I definitely took that persona when I was at work. I had like a couple training sessions and so I was with this really good trainer. I loved her so much. She just kind of like the first day ran me through some basics of like cashiering and then I like practice like she closed a lane and I like practice like scanning things and then the next day like we talked about some more things and then we we're like standing there and she's like okay so now I'm gonna take a few orders and then you can do it and I was like are you kidding me so she was like you just watch me like I stood behind her she's like watch me and then when you feel comfortable enough 
you can step in. I'll stay here the whole time, but like, just let me know when you feel comfortable enough. So I was just like standing there for like a long time. Finally, she's like, are you like ready? And I was like, not yet. No, I don't think I, I quite get it yet. And then finally I did and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm just, I can't ask someone how they are or like I act like so rude to people because of my anxiety and people probably think that I'm so rude and like stuck up and such a bitch because I hardly talk to people and like smile at them or like make conversation and it's not because I don't want to it's just because like I can't so anyway I'm like trying to do this like my hands are shaking so bad and it's very obvious and all the different produce codes I was trying to remember and you have to enter them in, they're four digits and like my fingers were shaking too bad to do it and like looking through the like list trying to find the um, like item I'm looking for. For the next two shifts after that, she stood with me the whole time. She'd start like getting farther and farther away and she'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna go like help this person or do this or put this away. And that's like kind of how she did it. She just eventually like wasn't there. And I did have a thing on my like number saying like cashier in training which was even more embarrassing because people like were like oh you're doing good like don't worry like you're doing awesome and stuff like that which like it was really helpful because some people are like super nice about it they're like you're doing great don't worry and that was really helpful okay on to like the part of like how I handled having a job with social anxiety I do want to make it known that I did quit three months later because it was too much. It got to the point where even when I'd have a day off, I couldn't relax because I just thought about the next one and I'd like cry on the way there because I didn't want to do it. And so I did eventually quit. I didn't even, I wasn't the one to do it. I got my mom to phone and tell them that I quit, which is like the worst thing you can possibly do because now I have three months of cashier experience and I was like, I was really good at it. <laughs> and I, can't even put that on my resume because I normally worked four or five hour shifts which actually went by really fast. I had a 15 minute break in the middle and it was actually pretty easy at the beginning because I went in like I am not Monica, I am somebody else and I'm just gonna pretend that I'm someone that's confident and it did actually work for a while. Um, I just totally... also what helped is the area that I worked in was different from where I live and like grew up so I didn't really know anyone there and like I never really saw anyone that I knew which was a plus like a huge plus one of my big things was that I don't want to work somewhere where people that I went to school with go to because I don't know why that's just like the worst situation this store gets really really busy because it is the only one in the city that I live in and they have like really good deals and like big bulk sales and stuff and it was like summertime so everyone is like going camping and stuff and getting all this like food for camping and like cookouts and like stuff like that so it got super busy and the lineups got so long and people don't just get a couple things at this store like they get like three hundred four hundred dollars worth of food and they're all mad because they've been in there for a long time so I definitely learned a lot about working in like with the general public and uh, very interesting. So I did have people be really rude to me. Normally I'm the type of person that if someone is rude to me I just take it but I realized that I couldn't, I don't know like if someone's rude to me outside I take it but in my head I like don't allow it at all and I'm really angry. So I, I come across as someone that like, oh, I can just be mean to her or whatever, but like I don't do anything about it, but I do get really hurt and mad and upset. It was one of my like first shifts by myself and this store had a thing, I think a lot of stores do this, where if some other store has like a flyer and say like oranges are on sale there, you can bring the flyer and get the oranges at our store for that store's price. And I didn't know how to do that and the guy didn't really speak English. At first I didn't even understand what he was trying to say. And then finally I did and I like, I was like, I don't know how to do it. And he's like, yes you do. And I'm like, well, no I don't, I'm gonna have to call someone. He's like, no, you just do it. And I'm like, I, I can't just do it, I don't know what I'm doing. And he got really mad at me. I almost started crying because of the way he talked to me, um, but I didn't. I had one guy tell me on a really busy day, he's like, I chose your line because I thought you were gonna be fast, but now I just wanna kill myself. And I was like, 
And it wasn't even my fault. I had a difficult customer before. So it was very difficult. Most days I didn't want to go, but I was like, money, I need money. I'm 19 and I have zero money. The worst times were when it was really dead and like, I actually, like people tried to make conversation with me because they knew that like nobody was behind them in line. I'm just bad at having conversations because all I do is just smile and like fake laugh and people like are like okay. Like people learn not to talk to me very fast at like school or like anything because that's what I do. That would happen a lot so people would be like how's your day and I'd be like good. And they'd be like how are you and I'd be like good. Something interesting that I found was the nicest people that came through were my age. If you want to complain about millennials, the nicest people and the most understanding people were the meanest, like, rudest people were the old people, so I just found that very interesting. There were a bunch of older people that were very nice, so, so anyway, my overall experience of a job with social anxiety obviously was not good because I only lasted three months. I'm very proud of myself for trying it and even applying for jobs. I didn't expect to get any calls or anything because I had not like no experience on my resume. You can see on my resume that I graduated from high school in 2015 and I feel like being the age I am and having nothing no work experience on my resume probably looks really weird. The last time I went there like I didn't know it was gonna be my last time and then my mom quit for me like 30 minutes before my shift was supposed to start. Um, the manager called me and after and was like, I just wanted to know like if you're okay if something happened. And I never phoned her back and I feel really bad, but um, I haven't been to that store since. Um, I'm kind of too scared. Let me know what other anxiety videos you want me to do or like if you want me to talk about anything specific about having a job. Thank you guys for watching and check out my other anxiety videos down below. I have a playlist of them if you want to see them, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.